my new bongos. You don't understand how anxious I've been to show you guys this and to finally play because I know a lot of you have been wanting bongo videos and I've been trying to, you know, wait on these babies to come and man, the wait was worth it. It is so worth it. They look so, so, so good. And of course, man, this is, it's just, ah, this is just so crazy, man. This is just, wow, man. Woo. All right, let's, let's talk about these babies real quick. Here's the plan. This is what we're going to do. I haven't played them yet. Yeah, you guys must be wondering, like, how, how are you going to get these in the mail and not just rev the box open and play it, you know? And, and, and you know what? Yeah, I, I really want to do that sometimes, but I do want to have a genuine reaction for you guys so you guys could know I'm not faking it. It's not staged or anything like that. I seriously haven't just, you know, played them. I All I've been doing just to try to get this nice frame here in the corner is, is just leaving them like that and just the feel, wow. All right, so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna first talk about these, what they are, specs, details, all that good stuff. And then I'm going to play it just how I got it out of the box, untuned, the way I received it. And then I'm gonna kinda crank it up a little bit so we could start to hear those juices going. And uh, again, this is all without any EQ. Just like I did with the congas behind me, it's gonna be without any EQ. And then if needed, if I need to crank it up a little bit more, again, I'll do it without any EQ. And then to finish the video, I'm gonna put it on with a, with a nice little track and EQ it the way I try to EQ with my horrible self. But yeah, let's get into these details. So this is not a review of these Moperk bongos. I just got them in the mail. I just opened the box and I could tell you, I've never owned or played Moperk bongos. I've played Moperk gongas before so I kind of knew what I was getting. I kind of, you know, figured it out, knew, knew where I was going to. But bongos, I have never played Moperk bongos. So the feel off the bat is like baby congas. Seriously, it's like the, the quality is all here. And, and, it's, and it's crazy, just, just the feel, the weight, these are heavy. These are a little bit heavy. What I got here are the Custom Cubano Series in North American Ash in a black stain finish matte. You know, just gotta keep up with the brand, just gotta keep up with the look. Black on black on black on black, love it. And the sizes that I got are a seven inch macho and a nine inch hembra, y'all. Y'all already know. Old school how it's supposed to be, man. I love a nine inch hembra. I also like, you know, eight and a half, it's, you know, you gotta love it all. But a nine inch Embra is just, uh, it's just the love, man. It's the love, Ooh, Of course, it has that crazy, excellent, durable stainless steel. These bongos are gonna last me for 20, 30 years, man. These things, that, that same attention to detail. And this is like what, what's, what's just amazing. The attention to detail that I see on these bongos are like the same that I got on my congas. Literally, just everything is so meticulously placed and, and well done. Each groove, like, come on, man. If you look at this grain, look at that. Look, look at that grain. Oh my gosh, man. I, I didn't believe that these were North American ash, just by the grain. It just looked so, uh, It's again, this is real wood. It's not plywood like a lot of the mass produced bongos are made out of, which again, there's nothing wrong with those. All my bongos that I currently own are of North American ash. But again, the other two that I own are mass reduced and I know they are made out of plywood as well. So you, you could feel it. You could feel the thickness of the wood. You could feel the weight of the wood. You could feel just the durability of this bongo, but the skins. Let me talk about these skins, y'all. We gotta talk about these skins because this is all this is all brand new to me. And and when I saw that Francis, what, what kind of skins he was gonna put on, I was getting kind of excited. Just excited because the skins I'm actually using are going to be bull skins from Argentina. Oh yeah. Bull skins from Argentina. I've played bull on congas. I've never played bull on bongos. So what I'm anticipating is just a rugged 
you know, kind of sound, similar to Steer. And that's something that people need to understand is that there's a lot of similar characteristics with all these type of skins. But man, I've, I've bull, whew, make you wanna, you know, do something like that. And from the looks of it, they are actually not that thick, you know? So the macho looks like if it's a little bit thin and the embra is a little bit thin as well, which is okay. With the thickness of these skins and the thickness of this type of wood and the versatility of this type of wood, I think it's going to complement itself very well. So I am excited, man. I am seriously, seriously excited. Very, very traditional, man. And wow, I mean, it's like, man. It, I, sometimes, you know, I just wish you guys could can know what I'm feeling, but man, like you can see that this is a nice, thick piece of wood, man. Woo! Wow, this is just unbelievable. Unbelievable. All right, let's uh, play these things. And what I'm doing right now, you guys actually cannot see it all on camera, but I'm using a three mic setup. I have a mic pointing to the macho, a mic pointing to the embra, and I got a mic pointing behind me so it could get that back shot. So it's a, you know, nice, nice little three mic setup. All right, so um, just putting it in between my legs, I do think these are some drums I'm gonna have to get used to because just the feel, just feeling that stainless steel, the weight, just a little bit heavier than what I'm used to, but man, like you could feel that durability. It's like you squeeze it and you know, man, that's like some real wood right there. And it feels really good. Um, I'm not struggling. I don't feel uncomfortable. Uh, I think the grooves really help also in between the legs, not just by design. So um, yeah, it feels good. And I've been used to playing Ashbone Golds. Ash has always been a little bit heavier type of wood than other styles would. So if I wanted a lighter option, guess what? Moperk has light options you know if we wanted some cherry it's a little bit lighter than than ash so there are other options that you could try that can complement your style and your need but again i wanted ash to match with my ash gonga so yeah let's hear these out oh my god i'm anxious all right let's go Dude, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Wow. Are you kidding me? Did you? Oh my gosh. And this is not tuned, y'all. Oh my goodness. Oh, wow. These skins, y'all. 
Woo! Wow, they feel good. They respond. They, oh man. And, and if you listen to that macho, especially in that, you know, when I started to really slap, how did it go that high? And it's, it is too low. And man, the Ambra at that range, totally love it. But let's crank it up a little bit. Let's get a different perspective. Let's find out how much more juices this thing can go. Let's just find out. Oh my goodness. All right, so I did one full turn on the macho, just literally one full turn on each lug and then a quarter turn on each lug on the Ambra. So I like that range. I don't want to get too high on that, but let's hear, oh man, I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited. When I did the first turn, it was like, oh man, it just it lets you know, like, are you sure? Are you sure you want to go there? That's literally that. Raka. That's what it did. Literally. Oh, okay. Let's. Li oh, oh my goodness. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Oh my goodness, hold up, hold up. Oh, oh no. Dude, that was, that was one full turn. Hold up, you gotta be kidding me. Wow, this is crazy. I have to get used to this though, man. Wow. Wow. I am. Um, would it would it shock you to say that I am more surprised about these bongos than the congas? Well, it's like there. It's like the congas, when I heard them, I was like, dude, out the box, 
they sound al I mean these out these are out the box like I don't know I don't know how to describe I mean there's no like crazy ringy overtone it's warm it's tight it cuts you want something sharp you want that slap to just boom hit you in the face it is right there and oh man um like I, I i'm okay with this i want to lower the ember a little bit and put the macho just a little bit more up and i think that's like kind of the range that i like and see where we're at yeah let me try that first all right so kind of made some adjustments got it to around the range i like Let's hear it, man. Yeah, um, I'm speechless, y'all. I am. I am really <sighs> speechless. I don't know what to say. When when Francis told me, wait till you hear the Mongols, I I thought, you know, what else? What mo can it be? Oh, sorry, y'all. I am a dad, and dad jokes are a must. But yeah, <laughs> mo perk, Mongols are serious, man. Wow. And this is... It's fresh out the box. I literally, the, I'm looking at the box right there. And it's just, man, it's just crazy. And I, I have the other two bongos and maybe one day we could do a little comparison. They're, those are ash as well. I got the Mino Ash with the nine inch Ambra. And I also have the Giovanni Galaxy series with the eight and a half inch Ambra. Probably won't be a fair comparison, but I think we could compare so you guys can hear just the difference man wow wow these skins are not a joke wow and they're, they're not that you know they're not that they're not that heavy i mean I, I just i think i have to get used to the just that stainless steel like right there on your leg it's just different it's real it's real metal it's not you know chrome finish stuff man it's it's uh wow I am, I am, yeah, lost without words. Let me just put on track, end the video like that. If you guys are interested in these bongos, all the information is down below where you can just contact, get a quote, and find out, you know, what may interest you. If you don't like the ash, you know, go for something else. If you want a different design to have different designs, I personally chose the custom Cubano model and they have like tropical they have salsa like they have a bunch of different bongos that you can try out and if you have an idea you know let francis know he can make it happen man he is he is that gifted he knows what he's doing man and this is this is just amazing this is just amazing i am yeah let me let me put on a track let's eq it i haven't even heard this and i already know it's gonna sound amazing but yeah let me let me just have some fun in the video you already know what to do like subscribe see you guys in the next video love y'all seriously love y'all step up to mo perk step it up